Soliloquy. I'm not quite sure I can better that. And um, uh, even uh, Zirak here has obviously already shared his thoughts, where it comes from a place of information, education, and experience. And um, today we have the pleasure of releasing a book and sharing excerpts from it. Um, what has taken Zirak a lifetime's dream to put together. Uh, being uh, as close to him as I have been, and I've had the pleasure of calling him my bestie <laughs> throughout my life, um, I know what it has meant to him to share his experiences, share his thoughts, share his concern, his compassion with all of you and more out there through this book. Penning this has meant the world to him, not just to have it in his repertoire that he has authored a book, but because the subject itself is so dear to him and so close to his heart, um, during his med school years, and we have a huge gang out there of med school friends, all who have uh, excelled to become docs in various specializations, deep down inside, even though there may have been a phase of, phase of confusion as to which vocation he should specialize in, I remember ha us having that talk and how we believed that this should be his chosen field because he's such a natural at it. He has always been, he's not my shrink, by the way. Listen, listen, hear, hear. <laughs> In fact, we tease and he always calls me his, but I think that's what friendship is. And that's what uh, communication is. And I think that's what all of this really boils down to. Love being uh, the, the cure, the balm, the absolute, healing factor, the most treasured um, experience and emotion we all can cherish throughout this lifetime. But communication, connecting, sharing, I think that is something that we need to uh, give a larger voice to because that's what we as a community need to keep doing, albeit he does it so naturally and so wonderfully as his chosen professional field. The single most amazing quality about him as an individual is it's innate. It, he's, it comes naturally to him. It is who he is. And communicating with him becomes really, really easy. And I see so many nodding along in this room because you know, as friends, that's what you, and family, that's what you get to experience with him. And I'm so glad that this is what he has chosen to do professionally and share that innate blessing in a quality that he has uh, professionally with the community out there. Um, a slight, uh, I, I just differ slightly to what you said, Zirak, when you said the statistics have grown since the time you began practice. I think um, another way of looking at it is the, com the awareness has been communicated since your practice. Because I think the stats always existed, maybe scarily more even at this point by the minute. But the positive that's coming out of um, the kind of work that you do, the kind of work you are doing together now through Empower, by doing books, by writing books like this, and choosing, to, um, choosing opportunities to enhance communication and connection is, um, the statistics are coming to the fore. Are, uh, the awareness is increasing, and that means uh, people are reaching out. So statistics, as scary as they are, another way of looking at it is people are coming forth, communicating what they're dealing with, and reaching out, and that means um, this can be addressed. So in your vocation, I would not know whether to look at the growing statistics as alarming or as, as a possible positive thing because that means more and more people are reaching out, are opening up, are daring to share and um, you're there to be able to address it, to guide them, 